I am your teacher Lakshmi and today we can study another subject that is GK. I hope all of you have GK textbooks with you. So today we are going to study the fourth chapter about uncommon creatures. Today we are going to study the fourth chapter that is about uncommon creatures. What do you mean by uncommon? Common means the creatures which are not seen commonly. The creatures which are not seen commonly in the world. Why? Because they either live in isolation or they are very rare in this world. They either live in isolation or they are seen very rarely in this world. Okay, first of all, let's look about squid. S-Q-U-I-D. Squid. Have you seen the squids? Have you ever eaten the squids? Yes. Let's study about squids in detail. Actually, what are the squids? Where are they seen? Are they actually fishes? No. Squids are not actually fishes. They come under the class cephalopods. That means they are marine free swimming mollusk. They are marine. Marine means that which are living in sea. Okay. Marine free swimming mollusk. Okay. Now look at the body of the squid. Look at the body. It is long, narrow and elongated. It is long, narrow and elongated. The head and the foot region are combined to form a structure. The head and the Food region are combined to form a structure. Look at the head. You can see two eyes. Two large eyes on the lateral sides. On either sides. Two large eyes are there. And a mouth is there. And the mouth is surrounded by ten arms. The mouth is surrounded by ten arms. Out of which eight are short. Eight arms are short. And two are long and elongated and they are known as tentacles. They are known as tentacles. They help the squids in catching the prey. They are active predators. The squids are active predators and they move along in groups. They live in groups. Let's watch a interesting video about squids. No. Just take a look at this. Squids, they camouflage by changing their skin color to match the surroundings. Thus, they escape from the enemies. Okay, first one is camouflage. That is, they can hide themselves by changing their skin color to match with the surroundings. Now, another feature is that when the enemies come to catch the squids, they inject out a, a cloud of ink over the enemies and escape. They inject out a cloud of ink over the enemy and escape. Now, after all, this squids are edible. What do you mean by edible? That is, they can be eaten by us. That is, they are edible and are, they are also a rich source of proteins. They are a rich source of proteins. This is all about squids. Next, let's study about meerkat. Meerkat is a small mongoose which are seen mainly in southern Africa. So, meerkat is a small mongoose seen mainly in southern Africa. They are sandy to light brown in color. They are sandy to light brown in color. Now, these meerkats, they are with broad head, then large eyes, pointed snout, then they have fur all over the body. This fur helps to live in this extreme climatic conditions of the desert. Keep okay? this mainly lives in the desert region and they have a tapering tail also. 
they are having long legs and the tapering tail also they live in groups and these groups are known as gangs or bands okay the meerkats live in groups and these groups are known as gangs or bands and now they have long sharp claws on their front paws okay or they are having long sharp claws long sharp claws on their front paws which help them to dig burrows because they help them to dig burrows okay now the life span of this meerkat is almost 12 to 14 years the life span is about 12 to 14 years they are mainly carnivores the meerkats are carnivores carnivores they mainly eat this lizards rodents and insects they are carnivores okay they live for about 12 to 14 years they are seen in southern africa next let's study about another uncommon creature that is flying squirrel flying squirrel this flying squirrels they are mainly seen in north america mexico and in eastern united states they are mainly seen in north america mexico and in eastern parts of the united states actually they cannot fly like the birds or the bats but they glide from tree to tree with a help of patagium with the help of patagium what is patagium it's a parachute like membrane which extends from the wrist to the ankle it extends from the wrist to the ankle so patagium with the help of patagium they glide from tree to tree this flying squirrels have a long tail the flying squirrels have a long tail which gives stability which gives them a stability during the flight okay now this flying squirrels they are nocturnal they are nocturnal what do you mean by nocturnal that is they are active during the night time they are active during the night time and they are omnivores omnivores that is they eat the flowers fruits seeds then fungi birds eggs insects and even the trees are. so they are omnivores let's see a video about mouth brooder given by certain species of tropical fishes okay they hold the offspring within the mouth they hold the offspring within their mouth for extended periods of time for protecting them they hold the offspring within their mouth for protection okay next let's study about a unique species of whale okay next it's a unique species of whale that is narwhal okay this narwhal are 
medium sized they are medium sized tooth whale they have a large tusk this protruding from that is a large tusk protruding from a canine tooth this nerve walls live up to 50 years nerve walls live up to 50 years and this tusk is grown usually for males it's occasionally in females you can see this tusk but only for males this tusk is grown now this tusk grows up to 9 feet okay this tusk grows up to 9 feet and it has a weight of about 10 kilo and it has a weight of about 10 kilo and this nerve walls are seen mainly in the arctic waters around greenland canada and over russia okay so they are mainly found in arctic waters and this nerve walls they are medium sized tooth way next let's study about armadillo armadillo as a term implies they are little armed ones they are little armed ones because their body is having a natural armor it is formed of overlapping plates the armor is formed of overlapping plates all over the back head legs which they cover almost the whole portion of the body now the armadillo as they are wild animals and they can harm people by attacking with their strong claws they are barrel shaped and covered with a natural armor they live up to 12 to 15 years they live up to 12 to 15 years they are omnivores they have a long sticky tongue with which they catch insects termites and ants okay they also eat the fruits and plants so that's all for today in this lesson we studied about so many uncommon creatures in this world and read the text thoroughly and do write the answers in the spaces given there and study it so that's all for today thank you